another video on games modeling in the previous video I already demonstrated um, a production planning model using mixed integer programming in GAMS uh, GAMS is a software that allows you to model um, problems both linear uh, integer problems uh, as well as for example nonlinear problems um, and it is a software that uh, provides you access to for example CPEX as a commercial solver if you have not had a look at GAMS modeling language yet, I recommend that you look at my most recent video. I will be putting a link in the video description. Um, this will give you a, a good understanding of GAMS modeling language for modeling uh, mixed integer programming models such as this one. Um, in this video, I want to look at another type of problem, which is a routing problem. Um, and um, I will be modeling it using GAMS modeling language. I will be solving it and we will look at the solution together. Um, it is a problem in which I have two uh, central distribution centers. I have um, three sales stores and I have three factories. Uh, the, problem, uh, the problem uh, consists of uh, minimizing transportation costs such that um, the demand for products at the sales stores is satisfied. The supply of the factories um, is um, taken into account and, and fully utilized and the capacities of the uh, um, central distribution hubs is not exceeded. I have uh, three factories. Um, I define a set for the factories, which I call I. I have two logistics hubs. I define a set J for the logistics hub. And I define a set K for the sales stores. I have three sales stores, which I call store one, store two, and store three. The factories uh, have a total um, production volume which can be considered as the um, supply to this problem. Factory 1 can supply 2,100 units and uh, has to supply 2,100 units. Factory 2 has to supply 3,000 units and Factory 3 has to supply 3,000 units. The sales stores, they all have a demand of 2,700 units, so they need exactly 2,700 uh, 2, units of, uh, of goods. And the logistics hubs, they have um, a total uh, uh, capacity of 2,000 and uh, 3,000 units respectively. So this is the total uh, volume that they can receive and ship. Um, so they can receive 2,000 units, for example, in hub one, and they can ship 2,000 units in hub one. T hub two can receive 3,000 units, and it can ship 3,000 units. So this is uh, some important information. We know the uh, the setup of our network. Um, we know that um, we have uh, specified supply and demand and we have some capacity constraints for the logistics hubs. The idea behind the logistics hub is to consolidate volumes. Um, so they take, uh, using the logistics hubs enables you to ship smaller volumes to a central place where you can consolidate volumes and then ship um, larger volumes. That allows you to achieve higher fill degrees in your in your trucks uh, and in your containers. Um, it also allows you to negotiate freight rates um, uh, better. So you can achieve uh, lower freight rates and thus minimize your transportation cost by using a logistics hub. And for this we have some cost information here. So we know what it will cost to ship something from a factory to a logistics hub. This is a table specified for the factory and logistics hub domain. We know the cost of shipping something from a logistics hub to a sales store. This is a table specified for the logistics hub domain and the stores domain. And we will know how much it will cost to ship something um, from a factory directly to a store. This is a table that is specified for the factory and sales store domain. So we know all of the freight rates. Uh, we know the capacity constraints and we need uh, and we know the, the demand and the supply and this is really uh, all of the information we have on this problem um, now we need to model some decision variables I use three decision variables the first one is the volume transport from a factory to a logistics hub this is a variable that runs over the factory and logistics hub domain another integer variable will be the total amount um, shipped from a factory directly to a store this is a variable running over the I and K set, so the factory and stores domain. 
the last uh, decision variable I have is the volume it transports from a logistics hub to a sales store. This is a variable that is also an integer variable running over the logistics hub and sales store domain. I have a continuous variable which uh, represents the objective. So I call this one goal. This is the objective that we seek to optimize. And um, then I need to specify now my uh, equations, so my objective function and my uh, constraints to the problem. The objective function uh, receives uh, the name objective and then I specify um, a supply constraint equation for each factory, a demand constraint um, equation for each sales store and a capacity constraint equation for each logistics hub. Those are specified further down here. So the objective function uh, uh, is made up of um, the formula here. So I sum up over all factories and logistics hubs, um, summing up the transportation volumes from the factory to the respective logistics hub, uh, weighted by the uh, freight rate. Um, in addition to that, I have a sum running over all of the transportation volumes from the logistics hub to the respective sales store, weighted, um, uh, summing up all the volumes uh, transported on that route, um, weighted by the relevant freight rate. And then lastly, I have a sum running over all the uh, factories and sales stores, summing up the transportation volumes shipped directly from factories to sales stores weighted by the relevant uh, freight rate. The constraints are, in this case, equality constraints for supply and demand. So for each factory, I want to make sure that um, everything that is shipped out to either directly a store or a logistics hub uh, the sum of all these volumes has to be exactly equal to the uh, supply uh, provided by that factory. And uh, for the sales stores, I have um, constraints, equality constraints that make sure that all the volume coming directly from a factory or from a logistics hub, the sum of that volume has to be uh, exactly equal to the demand of um, the sales store. For the logistics hub, I have less than or equal to constraints. So I sum up all the volume coming in from factories and I um, make sure that this volume is less than or equal to the total capacity of um, this logistics hub. And these are really the constraints that I need for this uh, problem. I don't need to specify any lower bounds for my, for my decision variable since um, by default the lower bound for an integer variable will be zero. So I can build my model now. I call it network routing. I include everything that has been stated up here. This is why I put all here in between the slashes. And then I solve this model using mixed integer programming, minimizing the goal variable representing the objective um, of the total transportation costs. And I execute it. <coughs> And we can look at it here. We can see a proven optimal solution was found. Um, you can see CPEX uh, has been used. Yeah, CPEX. Um, yeah, CPEX was able to find a proven optimal solution. Um, the, the minimal uh, transportation costs were 21,840 monetary units. So this is the the optimal uh, transportation costs um, that can be achieved. And in terms of the optimal solution, uh, we can see here this confirmed that all the supply is fully utilized and not exceeded. All of the demand is fully met and not exceeded. And we can also see that the logistics hubs are in fact in this case fully utilized. Yeah. So uh, they uh, they are definitely uh, useful for reducing transportation costs in this example, um, and they are fully utilized. In greater detail, we can see here that um, factory one ships all s uh, ships all of its volume to the second hub. Um, the second factory ships uh, some volume to logistics hub two, and um, then, yeah, the first factory ships everything to the second uh, logistics hub. The second factory ships some of its volume to the uh, second logistics hub. 
um, the factory three ships all of it's going to the um, first logistics hub. Uh, we can also see the volumes that are shipped directly to stores. So factory two, factory one, they're shipping some of the volumes directly. And we can then see with which stores receive what kind of volume from a logistics hub. This is what we can see down here. So this is uh, the solution to this problem um, using GAMS modeling language, using CPEX and using mixed integer programming. Um, and uh, it was an example of how you can model a, a routing problem of this kind in, in GAMS. Uh, in the video description, you will find a link to my recent video where you can see some more information on GAMS modeling language uh, in a production planning example. And you will also find in the video description the uh, script from this video. So you will be able to find this model. Uh, you can copy paste it to GAMS and you can adjust it and use it as a template for your own problem.